It is 9.45 p.m. right now. The event is at noon tomorrow, so technically I have about five hours, six hours to finish this if I really, really want to get like a good night's sleep. This big twist, Pride Project Challenge. Hello, testing, testing. Welcome back to my channel, everybody. I have a little special guest. Say hi, Chupi. Chupi, Chupi. I have an exciting new video for you all, which is slash a challenge video for me. Uh, tomorrow, I am donating my time for a Pride Parade drive through So it's a non-touching uh, event. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be, I think, 80-something tomorrow and super, super sunny. I did it last year, and I did the fatal mistake of not putting on sunscreen, and I ended up getting so many burns that I was peeling all over. So lesson learned, I'm going to put on tons of sunscreen, but I'm also going to cover myself. Uh, I did see that Big Twist Cotton came out with these new, well, this line, cotton line, and they also came out with these new colors, and it'll be the first time that I'm using this particular cotton. I was curious to even use this brand anyway, so I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to do it. So the challenge here is I need to create either a tank top or something like this, a cape, and this is cotton, so I need something breathable, something that if I sweat, it'll dry pretty fairly easily, and it won't be too heavy on me. So I have experience doing capes in the round, and I have experience doing ponchos up and down from top to bottom. So I think what I'm just going to do, just for all intents and purposes and to keep things nice and simple, I am just going to make a rectangle and two rectangles. So the recommended hook size for this is a USI, which is a 5.5 millimeter. I think I'm going to follow the recommended hook size because I kind of want to work this up kind of fast. I want it to be lightweight, so we need this to be lightweight. We need this to be flowy, so if I'm dancing and moving around, it's not heavy. I will measure, so from my shoulder to my, just imagine armholes. Um, so I think from my shoulder right down to like the armhole of the tank top, so kind of like down here. I think that's where I'm gonna make the length of it. It's really soft doesn't smell bad and the color is very very saturated so let me go ahead and start this and we will well those colors are transitioning pretty fast Ooh, I'm interested to see how that's gonna work out <gasps> that's cool oh wow All right, welcome back. This is how much yarn I have left after one skein. And I was just playing around with it. I managed to make this much of the garment with just one skein, which tells me that in two skeins, you should be able to do one full panel. All this is is half double crochet and double crochet window pane. And if you notice here on the bottom, it's starting to, I did a decrease so that way it does this asymmetrical decrease going across the body. So the goal is that eventually it's going to get shorter up here and it's going to be longer here, which will give it a little bit more movement when I'm dancing. If you can see, it doesn't pill at all. It doesn't split. So, so far so good. Um, if you are curious, I started off with 50 half double crochet for the foundation stitch. And then I wanted to literally do this live here in front of you. So when you're going to, uh, when you're alternating between, I chose the half double crochet rows to decrease. That way I'm not making it too confusing for myself and I know kind of like which direction I'm decreasing at. Especially in the beginning, sometimes you may forget where you're decreasing at. So when you get to this end part here, so when you get to the end part here, all you're really gonna do is the last two stitches, which are in between the window pane. See, there's two stitches there. I'm just gonna go ahead and do front po uh, front post and then back loop, sorry, front loop and then back loop decrease so that way you don't really see it. And there you go, you just decreased on that row. And then you're gonna go ahead and do double crochet, turn your work and skip the first stitch and put it in the second one and then just continue. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, blah, blah. One thing I am gonna say is I might add fringe or just cut up pieces of the cotton yarn and let it dangle so that way there's even more movement to this garment. 
So really quick, I wanted to bring you guys in. So if you're gonna recreate this, use your own body measurements. Um, literally just put it over yourself and decide where you kind of want. I Like I mentioned, the width of this garment is the same width of my armhole here of this tank top. So just wear your favorite tank top and use that as a measurement. Actually stop decreasing here right underneath the chest. And then I just had to keep going straight until it's about past my shoulders just a little bit just to give it that uh, asymmetrical decrease look. Let there be light. So real quick, I mean, in the moment, I always change plans. So this happens all the time. Um, I thought that the edge needed something a little bit, kind of like where I'm gonna hang the fringe or the, the, strand, the strands of yarn. Um, on the side that's decreasing, I'm doing these loops. I figured, because I always forget to do it, I always forget to record exactly what I'm doing in the moment. All I'm doing right now is you see these sections, I'm using the half double crochets as my markers of where each loop begins and ends. And each loop is 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. And then half double crochet row is there. I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. And you always wanna try and put it into the loop or inside the stitch as close as possible. And that'll give you a nice clean join. Otherwise, it'll look like you're putting it like in the stitch and it'll pull your yarn up. So that's a little trick uh, that I can share with you all. Take the time to really, whenever you're joining stuff to your garments, to really put it in, in the loops of the stitch. It makes it for a cleaner look. So I'm just doing that all over. And like I said, I'm gonna hang the, the fringe on these loops. And I think that'll give it a little bit extra more flimsiness for when I'm moving around. <laughs> late i'm gonna go to bed but i managed to get to i managed to finish the second panel well technically i have like two more rows to do so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna go to bed but yeah so far if i hold this up right i got my two panels here I'm just gonna do the two rows go to bed wake up early connect them do the loops on the other side and then just do the fringe the fringe should be relatively easy. Okay, here's a little try on. It looks really, really cool. I like how it dangles here off my arm a little bit. So, so far so good. I close it up here on the edges. And now I'm gonna try and add as much fringe as I can along the, the edge, like, you know, dangling yarn strands. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully the music isn't loud and I don't get copyright stricken, but check this out. Check out the threads. This is how it looks like under cloud light. So far so good. We're having fun here. It's a drive through pride parade. I volunteer my time. I did it last year and I'm doing it again this year at Buffalo Grove, Illinois. Always a pleasure to get back to, uh, even if it's not Chicago, it's always good to get back to your community. So anyways, check it out. Check out the threads. It came out so, so good. I'm going to try and insert some video clips of us dancing where it's nice and flowy and stuff like that. But uh, it just drapes so nicely. And when you're moving around, it really does make a big difference. You don't have to like move too much. So mission accomplished. It's done. Ew. It's so much fun to do. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoy that video. Let's do some quick shout outs. Thank you so much to all of the channel memberships. Uh, let's start off with our influencers. Shout out to Ilse, shout out to Karen Miller, and shout out to Blanca Valtierrez. Thank you so much for being a Limon Influencer member. And for our inner circle, we have Dina's Homespun, uh, Homespun Fun, sorry, I was trying to read the whole name. And then we also have Ola Joe, the crocheting sailor, and Cocktails and Crochet with Coco. 
thank you so much for being part of the inner circle and shout out quick shout out to my limon family members so lisa pratt rose susan amanda angela lauren i see you and i appreciate you thank you so much for being part of the channel and i will see you guys in the next video